Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise, also known as the Florida Power Boat Club Channel. Stu Jones here in the Pompano Beach studio as we continue our coverage of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2021 edition with an entirely new format. Running from Miami down to Key Largo where we featured a fantastic high performance boat show and Poker Run Village right at Gilbert's Resort. Along with a number of other first class destinations including the Playa Largo Resort and Mariner's Club in Key Largo. This episode will mark number six of our series, which will conclude the coverage of this epic Florida Keys event that really got things kicked off here in 2021. With over 100 Poker Run teams registered from all over the country, as well as all the leading names in the high performance marine industry, including boat manufacturers, dealers, as well as the distributors for all of those fine products that allow us to bling out our beautiful power boats. So we have got an action packed episode. So before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Florida Power Boat Club's 2021 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats and their sister company, Deep Impact Boats, along with their exclusive worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart. Midnight Express Power Boats, Mercury Racing Wide Open, Mystic Power Boats, Myco Custom Trailers, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, and our official prize sponsor, Superior Communications, providing us with Garmin and Icon products as prizes for our Poker Run events. And we are going to get right down to business, guys, with this fantastic photo feature of our lovely FPC girls kicking things off with Marissa Everhart, who is looking very relaxed on the bow of this Nortec 392 Superfish. And we now catch up with the rest of the FPC girls team, starting with Marissa on the left, Kendall in the center, and that is Deanna, the blonde, and they are all enjoying their first Miami Boat Show poker run with the club. And you can bet that we'll be seeing plenty more of these lovely ladies on future Florida Power Boat Club events. Well, I know that we caught all of you guys off guard with that fantastic, lovely FPC Girl segment right out of the box on the beginning of the show. But now let's catch up to one of our sponsors, Michael Trailers. Here's the company sales manager, John Smiley. We're at Gilbert's Resort in Key Largo at the Florida Power Boat Club, Miami Boat Show Poker Run. So we've had a fantastic banner year this year. Uh, we're here down here with three of our different manufacturers that brought our trailers with their static displays out in the vendor village. Uh, outer Limits, Concept Boats, the Nortec Legend Marine Group out of Texas. One of our biggest announcements for this year is we've debuted our service and refurbishment center right at our factory up in Bradenton, Florida. Uh, so now we have the ability to s support and service all of our customers' trailers, uh, whether it's routine maintenance or they happen to be down in Florida for the season. Before they head back up north, they can visit our shop and be go ahead and have some service and maintenance done on their trailer by the factory. Well, we still have some uh, helicopter time booked today, so let's get up in the air and chase down some of our club members as they cruise around the local waterways. And kicking things off here on this beautiful Saturday, Chris and Shelby Mattingly, Team Never Enough, 46-foot Outer Limits 2008 model, a boat that we've seen on a lot of poker runs with the club. They came all the way from Kentucky, and they've done a lot of runs with the club over the years. 
They started off by doing the Emerald Coast Poker run up in the Florida Panhandle, but more recently they started making their way down here to the Florida Keys. And I'm absolutely certain that we're going to see them again later this fall for the Key West Offshore Poker Run in November. And as many of our viewers saw in previous episodes, of course, Outer Limits was a sponsor of this event, and they brought several of their newest uh, SL50 and SL52 models, as well as that brand new 29 that they had on display in the Poker Run Village. Of course, with Mercury Racing 1075s, this boat is capable of much faster speeds, but Chris has it on cruise control right now because he's just taking his time weaving through these uh, mangrove waterways in the Upper Keys. I believe that they are in Grouper Creek right now in Key Largo, but they're gonna be in some open water here real soon and gonna be able to push those throttles down. And here's a nice wide shot as the boats get into these open waterways. And this, of course, is the place where they can hit the throttles and go a little faster. Catching up with another group here, uh, the sensation in the front here is Ron Paul. That boat in the middle is a 36 Wright Performance Cat. That's Mike DeWitt from Indiana. You can see that everybody's just out chilling today. It's a Saturday afternoon. Looks like they're heading in a southern direction, which is going to put them in Isla Mirada or possibly Marathon. You know, that's the great thing about this day. Anybody can go whatever direction they want. Again, one of the biggest boats registered for this event. David and Leanne Branton with this big 59-foot cigarette Tirana. My how time flies. I think it's been about two years now since the very first one came out. It was powered by Mercury Racing 400s. This one, of course, got six Mercury Racing 450s. That is the desired power package for this big Tirana. It's a heavy boat, but with that step-bottom hull, uh, there's been some speeds reported at at least 80 miles per hour with this power package. That's pretty amazing for a 60-foot center console. It's great to see the Brantons joining us here on this event. They've been involved with the club for well over two decades. I watched their kids grow up, and they're all involved in boating. And great to see them back on this run. And another club member who we consider to be hardcore when it comes to the power boating lifestyle, owning more than a dozen power boats that attend many of our events, but this is George Ariano's 151 Express. It's a 32-foot Phantom, fully rigged for offshore racing, but today they're just out to play and have a little poker run fun. Let's listen in. So while these teams enjoy a beautiful day out here on these Florida Keys waterways, let's head back to the Poker Run Village and check in with our sponsors, many of whom had to stay back at the dock because they want to promote their newest and latest models. My name is Eric Glazer with Midnight Express Power Boats. So today we have a 43 open to my right. We're standing on the brand new 43 Solstice. We have a 37 open to my left with the new twin helm seats. So it's two rows of three helm seats. The boat we're standing on is brand new. It has a new console with a full cabin in it, uh, full galley, head, uh, Uber seating area with a table, drops down, becomes a bed, lots of windows, natural light, new style. Uh, the console itself is styled differently now. It's a really good looking uh, addition to the, to the boat. Um, we took the livels out of the back and pushed the back seat back, gave us more room in the back of the boat. The forward U seat's different. Um, it's, without the, with, with the exception of the hull, it is an entirely new boat. 
um, and it's turned out really good. We're getting a lot of positive feedback on it, and uh, we've sold out of it for over a year already. And for those of you who happen to notice the smaller details, yes, those GPS screens were reading 106 miles per hour. That's exactly what they managed to log as a top speed. Pretty amazing for a 43-foot center console, uh, wide beam over 12-foot beam, and five Mercury Racing 450s. And I'm shaking my head in disbelief because <laughs> I just had no idea we, we would get this far. Uh, of course, it's not a boat you're going to drive 106 ever with your friends on board, but it's just nice to know that you've got that high performance if and when you need it. Of course, a boat like this will cruise all day long comfortably at 55, 60 miles per hour with 10 or 15 of your best friends on board and a JL audio system cranked up. So I don't think we can ask for anything more than that. David and Jenny Landsman, uh, longtime members with the club. Uh, David, thanks for all of your support and uh, for being such a great member and also for your efforts to run that Rockin' the Harbor poker run in your very own backyard, giving all your boating friends from Baltimore and the mid-Atlantic areas uh, a great event to attend in late June. And this past event you had, it was amazingly successful uh, based on all the comments I heard. So congratulations, guys. And congratulations on the new 43-foot Midnight Express Game Changer. And now for a closer look at that new Midnight 37. And you look closely, you'll see, well, obviously, four Mercury Racing 450s, uh, but also those twin uh, rows of uh, bolster seats behind the helm. Lots of seating for all your friends. And, well, David Carey has a lot of friends. You know, most of them are female. Uh, but he never shows up at a poker room with less than 10 people. So this is why these center consoles are so popular with so many of our club members. Also, uh, really a big shout out to David Carey and his crew from Tiki Lee's Dock Bar. They just completed their very successful boating weekend with a shootout, uh, poker run, all sorts of live entertainment. Uh, Jackie and I were able to attend and we absolutely had a blast. So thanks to the two Davids from Maryland who have done a lot to promote power boating in their own backyard. And it goes without saying, you know, congratulations to Midnight Express for their continued success in these amazing center console models that are so popular uh, with so many boaters. And they've got an amazing social media following. Uh, one of the best in the industry, I might add. I think they really got a jump on social media. And in addition to the owners' events that they now stage, I think they really have a winning combination. Thanks to Midnight Express. And watch this shot closely, guys. This is not the Intracoastal. That is what you call local knowledge. And now we catch up with Joe and Amy Lee Salello in this 39-foot Doug Wright, a brand new boat, a brand new model for Doug Wright. Uh, Joe is very proud to, to have her now. It's uh, his first event. In fact, I believe the very first poker run he did with this boat just received it uh, earlier. Uh, a great looking boat powered by Mercury Racing 400 Rs. And you can expect to see a lot more of these Doug Wrights on our poker runs uh, with the popularity of these outboard catamarans. And I'm just loving these high-level scenic shots. As you can see, a long string of boats, probably dozens of boats making their way here now from uh, Tavernier into Isla Morada. This is the last little mangrove pass that you go through, uh, but you can see why you need to stay in the channel. Look at all those little skid marks and prop trails uh, off in those shoal areas. Uh, just would be to your port if you missed the channel. And that's why it's so important to pay close attention to your GPS. and. Uh, even though it looks like open water, it requires safe navigation at all times. John Wittenberger Jr. from New Jersey. Uh, now, here's a team that's done a lot of events with the club. You know, he's got his boat on cruise control today. It's done this event so many times. He's got this track emblazoned in his GPS. It's like a solid line now. But I'm guessing after all these years, he doesn't even need a GPS. He's been back and forth through these waterways so many times doing poker runs with his dad, John Wittenberger Sr., who is also here at the event, but uh, running in his 39-foot cigarette. But I know that uh, Junior really enjoys this 30 Spectre. They've always got this boat just aired out and dialed in and having a blast. So, team bad decisions, uh, nice to see you guys back. And let us welcome another new team. Donald Goins from Florida and his 34-foot Nortec Team Blue Heaven. 
Got uh, triple Mercury 300 Verados. It's an older 34 based on uh, that power package. Uh, obviously, the newer ones uh, coming out with 350s and 400s. But uh, nice to see Donald enjoying his first run with the club. Welcome, Donald, uh, along with your crew, and we hope to see you on another event with the club real soon. And here's another club member we haven't seen for quite a long time, Storm Bartling. I think that Storm, didn't you register for an event, oh, maybe four or five years ago? And uh, I'm not sure which one, but I remember your name and good to have you back. Now it's in the 38-foot fountain center console, triple Mercury Racing 400s and a beautiful yellow color. Just a great looking boat. I think it's a perfect Florida boat, actually. I uh, hope you guys had a good time and uh, I know you're enjoying that fountain. We see so many more of them now. Of course, they have redesigned their center console line completely, uh, but we have so many fountains in the club, but it's nice to see the growth of their center consoles, more and more of them popping up here on these Poker Run events. Well, we've got a nice big rooster tail here along with some Mercury Racing 700s. Let's listen in. Well, guys, I know that that's what you came for, so that's why we cranked it up. Bo and Tiffany Renfro from Georgia, along with Jason Ventura, Celeste Sagrado, Brand X Marine from Pompano Beach that manages this boat and gets it to and from every poker run. Thanks to Team Dirty Money for joining us again here in this Miami Boat Show poker run. And let's say hi again to Connor Toomey here with this 39-foot Outer Limits uh, GTX Twin Mercury Racing 700s Team Out of Line. But this is a good time to not get out of line because cruising through these mangroves, you need to stay on course, keep your boat out of the trees, keep your propellers in deep water. Connor is normally joined by his wife, Allie, but this time it's a boys trip. He's got Larry and Chris on board. It's my guess that they're headed to Faro Blanco for lunch because that happens to be a place that Connor is very familiar with. He joined us for the winter poker run a year earlier and that was our destination. Well, guys, I know you love that raw horsepower, so let's try to listen into these Mercury Racing 700 SCIs. Well, guys, you're about to realize that this is the episode that we are going to truly spoil all of you with more of our FPC girls. I'm going to call this segment Blonde Ambition as we kick things off here with our newest girl, Deanna. And we're going to follow that up with the lovely Marissa Everhart.
Saturday afternoon here at Gilbert's in Key Largo. Our third day now here for this historic event, the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. 26 years, but it's the first time that we did such a big poker run village here at Gilbert's. I think it's worked out great for everybody. Uh, a little bit uh, windy today, uh, but nonetheless, uh, the spirits are still festive. Everybody's uh, out boating all over the place. We've got drones flying in every direction. Uh, we've got a hope, an open spot for the first time in the entire three days here, about 80 feet of open dock. That's because all the statement guys decided to go boating today. I'm sure they're going to be back very soon. Tonight's going to be a different format as well. Going to close Gilbert's to the general public. First time they've done that in a long time. And we're going to have the entire Florida Powerboat Club family here under the Tiki Hut for a big party. Going to play out all the poker cards and give out those coveted President's Choice Awards. Very excited that everybody could make it. And I want to thank all of our sponsors and our participants as we get ready now for the big Saturday night party here at Gilbert's. Gilbert's in Key Largo. And I think it was a great start to something new that we've never really done it like this at Gilbert's. But I borrowed from our experience in Key West with the Conk Republic Seafood Company because in many ways, Gilbert's is very similar to the Conk Republic in that it is like an open air bar with lots of docking out front. And, you know, for us to be able to take over this venue and, and really just have our own big bash, that really worked out quite well. Of course, probably the biggest challenge being that so many of our guests were staying at other resorts down the road, you know, as far as 10 miles away. That's where Playa Largo is and the Mariners Club. So we had to run about five vans getting people back and forth. But it really made it easier for people to shuttle over and enjoy the party. There was a wonderful meal served and Gilbert's never lets us down on food. Of course, the bartenders were serving drinks all night long. DJ Joe with the tunes and Entertainer Michael Trix, who opened the evening off, was a fantastic show. So it really was a festive evening in every way, and we had a very busy agenda, including playing out all the poker hands, uh, presenting our President's Choice Awards, and of course, recognizing all of our major sponsors. Of course, a lot of our attendees and uh, some of our sponsors had other plans for the evening. So here's a few that managed to make it to the party and they were able to accept their awards. Thanks to Eric Avila and his team from Concept Boats in Miami. Nick Buckman and Captain Brian Molinax accepted on behalf of Team Seakeeper. Special thanks to Eric Glazer and the entire team from Midnight Express Boats. And we finally caught up with Nick Buis from Statement Marine. They had an incredible showing at the event, including their newest 36-foot cat. When it was time for Mystic Power Boats, we couldn't locate John Kosker, but Ray Grimaud was happy to represent Mystic. He had just taken delivery of his brand new 4200 at this event. And here's a Greg Connell and his group from Team Legend Marine who are representing Nortec at the event. They had a 340 model on display in the Poker Run Village. And special thanks to Tom Crawley from Oakdale Yacht Club. It was their first event attending. Tom wasn't present for this image, but he did send his team to come and accept the award. MTI kind of won best in show for a couple of reasons. Along with their sponsor presentation award, they also won best catamaran for their new 390X. And they also won the Manufacturer's Cup for top representation of their brand on the Poker Run roster. Accepting their sponsor appreciation award for Performance Boat Center is Jose Pagan, the service manager, along with Rusty Williams. And our event presenting sponsor, Nortec, High Performance Boats. Company co-founders Tron Scow and Niels Johnson had gone home already, but the rest of the team was on hand for the festivities. President's Choice Award for the Best Center Console went to Jesse Newman for his brand new Nortec 50. And for that most coveted award, the sexiest crew, well, that went to Team Punchett, David Carey, and his entire team. Well, guys... Check it out, he earned it because they all had matching bikinis and matching cocktail dresses up for the parties that night. And that's what it takes to win the Sexiest Crew Award. And with all the hands played out, it's time to award our top three teams. Third place went to Jesse Newman in the 50-foot Nortec, Dirty Money. And second place went to Ron Paul 
who attended in his 34-foot Sensation CCX. And the grand prize winner, well, you guessed it, Team Punch It, David Carey from Maryland and all of his uh, lovely ladies on Team Punch It. Congratulations, Dave. He is just one of the luckiest guys ever when it comes to playing out his poker hands at these events. I remember it was about two years ago. It was his first event with the club, and he won the Key West Poker Run with a pair of eights. And guess what his team name was? Team Hard Eights. Well, congratulations uh, to Dave, and uh, once again, thank you for your hospitality up at your Tiki Lee's Dock Bar for the recent event. Uh, Jackie and I had a wonderful time. And it's not over until we actually close up and leave Gilbert's because on Sunday we had an entirely new event format and that was this amazing exotic car and classic car show. It was all part of a special celebration that began with a conversation with a friend of mine, Bruce Farron, who was having a big birthday celebration and he wanted to have a car event to celebrate. So Bruce, uh, being the car enthusiast that he is, got a bunch of car clubs together and they created the Make America Fast Again Car Rally, and it was presented by the new Auto Toy Store. Well, being the car enthusiast that I am, I wanted to do something really nice for this club, and it was a way for us to raise additional money for our charity. Uh, so we had a uh, Monroe County police officers at the front gate, allowing only sports cars, exotic cars, classic cars uh, to enter the gates. And the entire front parking lot was reserved for the cars. We also uh, went as far as setting up special tents, a VIP tent. So if you had an exotic car and you wanted to back your car in under the shade, uh, you could do that. So it was first come, first serve. We had enough shading for at least 30 or 40 cars, and the rest were able to park around the perimeter on the front lot here at Gilbert's. And we collected about $20 per car as they arrived, and that contributed to our charity, which was the Special Olympics of Florida, which was a decision made uh, between Gilberts and myself uh, when we had contacted the Monroe County Sheriff's Office to ask them uh, how we could participate with them, and that's what they asked us to do. So it really worked out well, uh, but it was really kind of an eclectic mix of cars here. I think that some of the cars just came in locally. Some of these older muscle cars and classics came in uh, from the Florida Keys, while a lot of the exotics uh, came down in a rally or kind of a caravan from uh, South Florida. And the weather was really fantastic uh, for a car rally. No matter where you came from, uh, the weather was just fantastic. And I'd say that you know, this Sunday afternoon was really a unique format for Gilbert's to not only have this car show going on all afternoon that was essentially free to the public, but then remember, you could walk you know, 50 or 80 feet and be on the docks at Gilbert's where you could see all the power boats that uh, are still hanging around from the poker run. Uh, that along with you know the festive atmosphere of the Tiki Bar, which had live entertainment all afternoon, it really was a winning combination. And the afternoon was very successful in so many ways and we did raise an additional $1,500, which was combined with the already $3,500 that we had raised by the Florida Powerwood Club throughout the weekend, uh, making it a $5,000 total take and we are gonna leave that money in town, but wait, there's more to it. Gilbert's agreed to double down on that 5,000. We were able to make a $10,000 contribution to the local Special Olympics of Florida. And that $10,000 was presented uh, by myself along with uh, Gilbert's president and owner, Alina Weisberg. And I very much would like to thank Alina and her team at Gilbert's for agreeing to match our donation. And not to mention, put on a great event for us here at Gilbert's for this Miami Boat Show Poker Run weekend. Well, guys, uh, we told you we were going to give you a lot of pretty ladies, and that's exactly what we did. And we're going to close off this final episode number six featuring the Florida Powerboard Club's Miami Boat Show Poker Run with the lovely Miss Marissa Everhart, who has been a staple here with the Florida Powerboard Club FPC girls team for the last three years running. So we hope you enjoy this final swimwear segment.
So as we close off this show, let me begin by saying you're welcome, guys, uh, for not one, not two, but three swimwear segments here in this episode of Power Boating in Paradise, featuring the lifestyles of the Florida Power Boat Club members. But we're going to have to say goodbye for now, but we have got plenty of great episodes just around the corner because we have our entire 2021 Poker Run series, uh, the spring events including the Spring Key West Poker Run in March, which will be our next episode, and plenty more to follow, including the Tampa Bay Poker Run, Orange Beach Powerboat Week, and the 30th Annual Bahamas Poker Run. You guys cannot afford to miss any of those episodes, so be sure to subscribe to our channel right now, hit that button, and click the notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021, as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page, and you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We have got a fantastic year planned for 2021 with members of the Florida Powerboat Club, so stay with us. Meanwhile, we're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer Ryan McCoy in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.